Good morning to us all, and we are all welcome. <laughs> this is a special opportunity for me to introduce the special guest of Anna. I stand on all existing protocols to introduce our special guests. Professor Francis Chisaka Kasolo is the country representative of WHO Ghana. He is an infectious disease physician with specialization in clinical virology. He has worked with WHO in various capacities for the past 20 years. Prior to his new appointment, Prof. Kasolo was the chief of staff to the WHO Regional Director of Africa, responsible for advising the Regional Director on policy and strategic issues pertaining to the work of the WHO. Prof. Kasolo also served as Director of Ebola Preparedness with the United Nations Mission on Emergency Ebola Response in Accra in 2014, as well as the Director of Disease Prevention and Control at the WHO Regional Office for Africa from 2011 to 2015. Unfortunately, he's not here with us, but is ably, the word is ably, represented by Dr. Sofonias Asrat, who is the team lead for Universal Life Course Cluster of WHO. With a round of applause, please, let's welcome. Uh, welcome again, doctor. You are among uh, critical care nurses. Um, a lot of critical thinkers here, and the environment is critically charged. <laughs> so, um, we also call ourselves nurses with a third eye. Don't try to uh, locate the eye anywhere, you can't find it. <laughs> the eye is in the heart, and it is built from long uh, uh, period of studies and dedication to care for clients and patients who are critically ill. So the third eye is hidden, but is very active in our daily activities. A 10 year anniversary is commonly referred to as 10 anniversary or an aluminum anniversary. And it is celebrated by giving gifts of tin or aluminum. These metals ladies and gentlemen, symbolize durability, strength, and flexibility. Your esteem group is a true reflection of these attributes. You have survived the first decade of your existence and are still standing strong. Congratulations to you, Madam Chair, your executives, and the entire membership of CCN Group. As a specialized group, you do not have the strength of the numbers that other groups have. You must indeed be resilient to have thrived for this decade. This milestone and its celebrations offers you a real opportunity to reinforce your group's values, goals, and attributions towards the growth of nursing and midwifery professions in this country. The choice of your team for the anniversary, caring hearts, healing hands, reflecting on a decade of excellence is critical in critical care nursing could not have been more apt. Critical care nurses are highly trained and qualified to comprehend and care for patients of all ages, from those who are seriously ill, recovering from life-threatening diseases or injuries, pre-operative, post-operative, ICU, both surgical and medical settings, just to mention a few. The State of the World's Nursing Report 2020 recognizes the important role of critical care nurses 
play in emergencies, epidemics, and disasters by delivering care in clinical emergencies, responding to epidemics, disasters, and humanitarian crisis, as well as recognizing life-threatening conditions and performing life-saving procedures. The importance of critical care nurse cannot be overlooked. And I want to repeat that. The importance of the critical care nurse cannot be overlooked. And this was evidence during the COVID-19 pandemic. Even though nurses were indeed needed, critical care nurses were the type of nurses that every individual sought after. This is because of your training and in-depth knowledge in the care of critically ill patients. You see the dying, the devastated, the broken down, the hopelessness. It is only therefore. It is only a caring heart that will need to call when that will heed to call when all hopes are gone. We therefore must place a premium on the key roles critical care nurses play in the healthcare in this country. As we reflect on a decade of excellence, I would like you to take a critical look at the following. Benchmarking with other specialists in your area, especially in the developed countries, evidence-based research to inform practice long life continuing education and spiritual aspects of your care. The Nursing and Midwifery Council, the regulatory body for nurses and midwives professions, assures of its continuing resolve to working with provision of cutting edge continuous professional development programs to enhance their competences of our nursing and midwifery professionals to enable them to provide competent, safe, efficient, and quality service towards the attainment of universal health care in Ghana. In your deliberations in these days, I urge you to discuss extensively about your theme to propel the group to a greater height. And I hope that is what you are going to do. Happy anniversary to you all, and congratulations to the planning and organizing committee of this anniversary, Deborah. On this note, ladies and gentlemen, I humbly accept to set the affairs of this function to a successful end. <laughs> However, I cannot do this without your cooperation and support, which I am confident I have already. Thank you very much. <laughs>